Hi, today is November 14, uh, 2012. We're just wrapping up the Brewster Dig, and this is Patrick Brown, the Executive Director of the Duxbury Rural Historic Society. Patrick, tell us about the Dig. Well, the Dig has just been a fantastic project. Uh, we've had about 125 volunteers involved, so it's been great to see so much enthusiasm, so much hard work on the part of so many people. I mean, it's, it's amazing to see how people have been here, on, some almost every day. Uh, and what we've uncovered is, is great. Uh, you know, the findings are still out. Craig is going to be processing the findings over the winter. But uh, it appears that we have found uh, an early 18th structure that may be on top of uh, a early 17th century structure. And we found a great variety of artifacts ranging from the 17th to the 20th century. So it's, it's been really successful. It's great. Um, why is William Brewster important? Well, he, uh, from the very beginning of the uh, gathering of that congregation that we call the Pilgrims, uh, the separatists uh, in England, that, that congregation sort of gathered around William Brewster when they were still in, uh, when they were still in England. He was one of the very key leaders of that early congregation. And of course that congregation fled England to Holland and then eventually came and established Plymouth Colony. So William Brewster was a major leader from the very start. And then once they were here and established Plymouth Colony, uh, he was uh, basically the minister. He was the lay minister and uh, the religious leader for a long time. And how important is this site to the history of Duxbury? Oh, tremendously important. I, I mean, it's it's very, very rare to find a r relatively undisturbed uh, site uh, relating to the the first comers, the pilgrims. Uh, now we do have an 18th century house that's been put on top of his site, so it's not it's not com it's, it's not completely undisturbed, uh, but there's been there's been no dig no archaeological dig that's taken place here. There's been no modern buildings that have obliterated the site. Uh, so sites like this are rare, I guess is what I'm saying. And, and it's an incredibly important piece of Duxbury's history. I think. And um, today you announced a grant about a potential. Um, exhibit next summer, and how was this dig funded through a grant also? Yes, indeed. And we're very grateful uh, to the Aqua Foundation for funding the dig, uh, and we uh, apply for a grant and uh, uh, we'll be doing an exhibit uh, next summer at the King Caesar House. Will open in June of 2013, and, and the exhibit will feature the findings here. Not just the artifacts, but you know the data on the foundation and uh, history of the Brewster family and the Brewster descendants, and uh, all kinds of information about this site. Thank you very much. My pleasure.